More on that breaking news coming out of Iraq now. Let's go to Fox News' Benjamin Hall, who is in Amman, Jordan, with more. And Benjamin, we have this initial report that Iraq is under a missile attack from Iran. They are either cruise or short-range ballistic missiles. Um, this is from a U.S. military source. It is saying it is all over the country. What is it that you are hearing? Yeah, that's right. This news breaking about 20 minutes ago, and we still are trying to confirm uh, the scale of it. The one confirmed target has been the uh, Ain al-Assad base in the west of uh, Iraq. It is the second largest U.S. military base in the country, uh, and six rockets are believed to have landed there. We don't know if they are cruise missiles, short-range ballistic missiles, but they have, according to a U.S. official, come out of Iraq. Um, and Hezbollah-linked Twitter pages are now claiming that the revenge has begun. Uh, those are the details we have for the moment. This is developing at the moment, and we're still confirming the extent of this attack. Uh, but that's uh, six rockets landing inside the Al-Assad airbase in the west. And we've been waiting some time to see how Iran might respond. There had been a few smaller rocket attacks uh, in the last few days at other bases, but nothing uh, like this, nothing out of Iran. Uh, it would be significant if uh, projectiles were fired from Iran into Iraq, striking U.S. bases. So we're waiting to confirm more about that. Uh, today in Iran, we saw the uh, parliament classify the attack against uh, Qasem Soleimani as a terrorist attack and an act of war. They also classified the U.S. military as uh, a terror entity. The foreign minister spoke out earlier as well, uh, talking about the U.S. and their role. Have a listen. Um... Sorry, we, well, we don't seem to have that sound right now, but as he said, that he felt that it was an act of war against them, that revenge would come, and indeed we have heard uh, a variety of options in terms of their retaliation. Iraq have suggested everything from attacking U.S. bases, like we may be seeing now. They've talked about attacking ships in the Persian Gulf. They've talked about attacking Saudi Arabia and Israel. Everyone has been on tender hooks here in the Middle East, waiting to see how they might respond. Uh, it certainly has been made clear by the uh, Iranians that they would, it would be a military strike and that it would be against U.S. military targets. Whether that's what we're seeing at the moment, we can't confirm at the moment. Moment, but certainly a major escalation if indeed uh, this is Iran firing into, uh, into Iraq and at a U.S. base. Back Benjamin, uh, if I can interrupt you for a second. So this is coming out of the AP in Tehran. They're saying that Iran state TV is saying that Tehran launches tens of surface-to-surface -surface missiles in Iraq's um, at Iraq's Ayn Assad Air Base housing U.S. troops. So they're saying tens of surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Does that sound, does that go along with what you've been hearing? Again, there are some conflicting reports at the moment. We know that six have landed inside the base itself. We've heard reports of up to 30 fired, but that senior U.S. official saying they were being fired all over the country. Uh, this is a breaking, uh, breaking development, so we don't yet have the full details. But certainly, the Iranians, as you point out, now saying that the revenge attack has started. I think we just have to wait now in the coming minutes, uh, hours, to see what extent uh, they, they, they retaliate. All right, Benjamin Hall, thank you for that report.